Hallo und herzlich willkommen hier erneut zurück zu Life is Strange. Episode 4, der Dark Room, ist ja jetzt schon seit einiger Zeit geöffnet und nun auch bei uns präsent. Dementsprechend, let's go! Alternative Beach, Moment. Meh, meh, meh. Oder sieht man auch mal, wo noch Bilder fehle. Alternative Main Campus. Was ist denn das? Ah, okay. Dann kann man also neue benutzen. Allerdings der Alternative Beach hier ist der richtige Beach bei uns. Previously on Life is Strange. Wow. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Und nun werden wir die Auswirkungen unserer Entscheidungen wohl mal richtig heftig ins Gesicht geschlagen bekommen. Es ist nicht immer weise, komplett die Zeit zurückzudrehen. Okay, wir sind an Strand, ein Meer, Wellen, lassen sich gerade ordentlich Zeit, Fahrräder, eins liegt da, schön, Sightseeing Tour wollte ich jetzt eigentlich nicht haben, toter Wal, Jede Menge tote Wale. Holy crap. Oh, okay, die beiden spazieren am Strand entlang. Nicht unbedingt der beste Anblick jetzt, würde ich behaupten. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are though. 
It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Tja, nette Situation. Wie soll man damit komplett umgehen? Ay caramba. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. 
Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Natürlich können wir das, aber jetzt haben wir die Gelegenheit, mal ein bisschen uns umzuschauen. Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. Oh, the snow doe. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. Snow, 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 snow. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? Wahrscheinlich. She can't even feel the grass now. Das wirklich die bessere Situation ist. Ah. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. There's the old Chloe. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. Bad Max. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan and Vanessa Caulfield. Thinking of you. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Thinking of you. Dear Chloe, I am so sorry for what happened. Know that I am here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. Küsschen, Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I would drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Yeah, totally. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Tja, wenn man der Zeit herumspielen muss, ne? Wow, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. The Black Attic Club. Friday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. Sie kann halt leider nicht hin. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Welcome to Hot Wheels chat room. For your save video, do not give any personal information. Pla. Miss Blue, so what are you doing? Talking with you. Ha, ah, no shit. I'm about to bring a bing on Quantum Leap. Oh my god, love. Scott Bakula rules. So do you. I hope we can meet soon. Not if you're in San Francisco. Hey, I have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you while you're binging on Bakula. You better. Hello? Interesting. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. 